Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, so as you can see, no makeup. Oof. So um, I thought I'd uh, do my makeup with you and see how we get on. Okay, let's get into it. I like, I've been using um, Makeup Academy, the Pro Base. Uh, prime and conceal I really like this as well I mean this was something like what, pound two pound so cheap um, and it actually really really brightens the under eye area I feel like this product actually really really works well See? The difference? It's quite a big difference. Yeah, you can still see the puffiness, but it looks a lot brighter under there. So I feel that it helps um, and makes a difference. Okay, so while that's settling in, I've been using the Happy Light Concealer by Bourgeois. Um, I suppose it's kind of like the MAC paint pot. Um, I can't remember actually how much this was, um, but it's bound to be cheaper than the MAC Pro Pot. Uh, and obviously Bourgeois is owned by Chanel, so it's got to be good, you know. Okay, so once that's done, do, 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 do. Done. Okay, next I go in with the old favourite baby skin. Right. I feel like it hasn't blended the eyes in. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so next I like to do my. What do I like to do? Eyeshadow or brows? Hmm. I do what I normally do. It's probably backwards, but it's the way that I do it. So um, for my brows, again, old favourite, Benefit, Goof Proof. Um, I was actually a slave to Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. That's what I've been using. I um, absolutely love it, but it takes me ages and ages and ages to get my brows right. Um, my brows are very thin. I noticed since um, after my treatment, uh, my radiotherapy and, and sort of all the tablets that I was on after my cancer treatments um, my eyebrows really really thinned out yes I used to pluck them as well I mean I used to have like eyebrows like this when I was a, when I was a teenager just too much going on so but still I'm having problems the hair seems to grow in the wrong places like it will grow down here and not here but yeah, I've just been leaving them alone, putting castor oil of an evening, um, just to try and get some brows back. But I absolutely love this. I can see why it's a firm favorite of everyone and their mother. Um, If my eyebrow pencil is too dark, it just looks like I've got a sharpie and just gone. It look good in the end, trust me. Struggles, eyebrow struggles. Okay, they're kind of looking a little bit okay, I think. You're probably putting the comments like, "Ugh, you have the worst eyebrow I've ever seen in my life." Oh, they're scary looking. But like I said, when I put my foundation on, um, this will be sort of in the middle, will be a lot lighter. And it'll all turn out good in the end. I won't sing because I really can't. I'm a terrible singer. Okay, next. Eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my Wolf 
Ooh, sorry, it's very dirty. Oof, that's not good. Morphe. Um, this is the 35 OS. Beautiful colours. Especially the burnt orange. I'm really feeling the burnt orange lately. I like, I'm loving that vibe. Okay, so I'm just going it in with a light colour just to set that all on the lid. Oh, and I'm using the BH Cosmetics. This is the 101. The fluffy brush. I like BH um, Cosmetic brushes actually. They wash up so nice. Like, really, really nice. They look brand new once you've washed them. There it is, my base done. Next, I am going to go in with Burnt Orangey Colour. My crease. Wiping motions. Okay, same thing, swipey. So next I am taking it's it's a smaller fluffy brush. This is from Sleek. Um doesn't have a number. Nope. No number, it's just fluffy. So next I'm going to go in to the crease with this shade. So just in my crease. So we can darken that up again, sort of bringing it out, not right down to where my eye is. And I'll blend that out with my big fluffy brush. Then I'm going in with a different fluffy brush from, again, Sleek, Sleek Makeup. Um, it's just a little bit, yeah, a bit more tapered to put on my lid. Let's see what happens. It may look horrendous, but you have to try. In a corner, I'm going to use BH Cosmetics 105, this shade, just to add a little sparkle in a corner. We are going to move on to foundation. Revlon airbrush effect, photo ready. Um, so basically I just, and this is in the shade vanilla, because I'm quite light at the moment. So I just kind of blob that on. Stab that all on and then I use my BH Cosmetics Stipple Brush 109. And we just stipple it on. I go on to under eye concealer. Um, I absolutely love the Maybelline Age Rewind in light. I go in to set my under eyes with the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder, which I am absolutely loving. And to do that, I use my Real Techniques. This is for contouring, but I just, yeah, I think it's really good for under eyes. I never use things for what they're made for. <laughs> That's just me. And this powder is so light and doesn't crease on my under eyes, which a lot of powders do. Um, so, yeah, I'm a big, big fan. Well done, Kat Von D. Mm -hmm. 
and then I kind of just a little bit of powder just to set because I am queen of oil and it doesn't really set into fine lines which is really really good um, there's not a lot of powder on my brush but we just set that set that in what I'm going to do now is with the detailer brush from BH Cosmetics I'm going to go in with that orangey shade and I'm going to bring that underneath All I can do is try. Happy with that. Okay, what is next? Oh. Benefit. So just a little bit of blush. Next, bronzer. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Of course. Um, so pretty. Who doesn't want to smell of chocolate? Come on. Okay, next. I usually do mascara next. Okay, so I do love their Real by Benefit, but I also love Lash Accelerator. Um, one looks like that, and it just kind of separates your lash. Oh, I didn't curl my lashes. Called beautiful eyelash curlers. And also, I lift up horizontal. Put it on, little squeeze, lift horizontal, not too far because you pull your eye up, and a little squeeze. And it just, look. Look how it lifts. So, do wiggle at the root. At the root and wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You know what? I do me. And. That's the best thing you can do. Do you? And people don't like it. Tough. Too Faced chocolate bar. I use that shade for highlight. And I think it works. I think it looks good. So that's what I do. Okay, so I'm a fan brush. Just one offline. And pop on the highlight. highlight oh and if you can hear the music excuse that there's a some sort of festival or something going on in the park near me so yay not sure what one it is so apologies if you can hear that it does get quite loud um, not a lot can do about that unfortunately so a little bit on my nose I'm in love with this pencil, I need to get another one as a backup. The Remel Long Lasting Finish in Blush Nude, number 42, um, which is this colour. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. It's a really, really nice nude. Excuse the dry, the dry lip. Really pretty car. That thing going on. Well, I think you come out okay. I look better than I did before, anyway. So, you yeah. know, for now, see you later.